Take five. This is Jamie. Back with the Motor Tech Thor e scooter. That's right. Took five takes to get this intro correct. Uh, so, anyways, not even, there's like four actually, but uh, we're talking about brakes today. So, when I got the scooter, I'm not kind of happy about the way that the brakes are wearing on this thing. All right. Um, if you look, there's these pads they put in there, which come with these specific sort of brake calipers, but they don't grab all the way to the edge, which is bad. And you're only getting like so much. And it should be grabbing a full pad, like all the way to this corner here. Um, I don't know if you can see, probably not. There's not enough light. Um, it has rubbed along the top of the edge of this, this rotor here. Uh, but I fixed the rear to a certain degree. Uh, the rear's a little bit better. What I ended up doing was taking out uh, on the back of the, this one here, they had a, a washer. It's a concave washer that went right here and then it held it up. Now, with, with the Mototech scooter, one of the problems is the motor and the brake caliper are super, super close together. Let me see if I can get this in here. Probably not. Yep, probably not. Um, so there's a tolerance between uh, the motor here. You can see where it started rubbing when I was initially started working on it. And then the brake caliper, which is why they placed the spacers on top of this. Now, my biggest problem with this is, number one, brakes should be grabbing full full rotor. If not, you have problems with it. Uh, your brake pads will eventually get to a point where they build up a ridge, and when you hit the brake pads, they, they'll meet at the top. So, for me, I've gotta take these out readjust them. There's some grindage that has to be done between, uh, let's see here, where the motor is and, and the edge of the caliper right in here. Because otherwise you'll get scrapage like this. And let's see, right there. See that scrapage? All that scrapage, that's not good. Which I can understand why they did that with the scooter. Because they're Trying to make a, a scooter that's fast, quick, efficient, and cheap. Uh, but cheap doesn't always equate to good. And uh, good doesn't always equate to cheap. So um, I'm going to have to take this out before I get one bolt out. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to have to grind the back of the uh, the brake rotor out. I'll show you that real quick and see if I can get this out real quick before battery time runs out. So there, there's two washers that just fell out of that one. The back only had one. So, um, so there's the brake pads. Um, but what we're looking at is the back of this. This is right here. We'll rub against that motor there. So what we'll have to do is sand this down or, or grind it out. I'm gonna use a Dremel. It's not really too much uh, structural because we have the screw here that uh, adjusts this pad on this side uh, to make it equal to the pull on this side, which I'll get into later. Uh, but for now, what I'm looking to do is uh, grind this down right in this corner here. And then uh, so it doesn't grind here and then get this level down far enough to where I actually get full purchase on the brake pads. So uh, I'll be going over that uh, in the next video. Uh, so uh, thanks guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, do your thing.